How's it going guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and recently I just brought you a gaming PC build that was under $300 and I had somebody in the comments section asking me to do a $400 to $450 range PC. Well, I'm going to do you even better and we're going to do sub $400. Now this build is going to be at a grand total of $390.33, my apologies, and it's going to include an APU, but this time the APU is going to be a top of the line APU and it's going to be the A10-7870K. So I'm going to be sure to leave a link in the description below to Jay's Two Cents. He made a video about this APU and RAM speed and basically how this APU works and how it performs. In his video, he got this APU to run Battlefield 4 at medium details at 1080p, averaging close to 50 FPS, around 40-ish. So it's very, very playable. Uh, Battlefield 4 is a very intensive game, and this is actually great, great performance by an APU. So... To not have a dedicated graphics, it's a very good um, addition. So the A10 7870K, it comes with uh, modern workload tuning. It boosts up to 4.1 gigahertz. Uh, it comes with DirectX 12 support, Vulkan and Mantle support. It comes with free sync. And overall, who let me catch my breath. This is a very exciting APU to have. And it comes with all the powers and bells and whistles and everything that you need for a very powerful work for, workhorse of a CPU. Moving right along, we have to get some very fast RAM to power this APU. Now, APUs work differently than actual graphics cards. They rely on your RAM speed to be able to perform the way they want to perform. So, in Jay's Two Cents video, he also talks about this and shows a demonstration between moving up from 1600 megahertz to 1866 to 2400. So, we're going to go ahead and get DDR3 2400 megahertz RAM from G Skill. Now, this is a $50 kit at 8 gigabytes. Um, it'll do the job if you want to upgrade to 16 go right ahead it'll just cost you some extra money but the speed really matters when it comes to APUs and in his video he demonstrates that very well so go check out that quality video of his um, but for 2400 megahertz um, it's gonna do the job uh, for this APU so enough about that uh, along to the next part of this build we are going to go with the motherboard so the motherboard is an MSI FM2 Plus uh, motherboard it comes with four SATA 6 gigabit per second uh, ports, a USB 3.0, HDMI, micro ATX, blah, 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 blah. A big mouthful, basically, and it supports this APU. So it's basically a motherboard for $37 that will do the job that we really want it to do. Um, it has all the cool, fancy features that motherboards have nowadays, and it is affordable at $37. So be sure to pick one of these up. So along with this, we are going to talk some storage now. And basically, the storage situation is going to go like this. We have a Seagate Barracuda, one terabyte hard drive, 7200 RPM, 40 bucks. No brainer. Basically, it's going to do the job for you. If you want to up up to two terabytes, you can. Really not recommended, but if you want one terabyte, there you go. 40 bucks. That's all you need. Um, and go down here, and we have the Silicon Power S60. SSDs, guys. Can't preach it enough. I'm losing my voice because I'm preaching it. SSDs at $37 is such a great value. You cannot go wrong with an SSD. So you have to pick one up nowadays. I really do not recommend building one without one. You will thank me later. And if you have a system right now and you're watching, and you're just watching this for the hell of it because you're a great supporter of this channel, and you just really want to watch us, and you don't have an SSD in your system already, 37 bucks, dude. Best upgrade you'll ever do to your system overall. It won't improve gaming performance, but it will improve your entire computer's speed. Trust me on that. It's a great upgrade. So along with that, we have that one terabyte hard drive. So this will be our boot drive. This will be our main storage. And then to conclude, to power this whole system, we have a Corsair CX500 watt power supply. Powers my system right here with an i7-2600K overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I do an overclocking test live in front of you all, so be sure to check that one out. Uh, we also are powering an R9-270X, no issue at all. This 500 watt power supply is A plus bronze certified and does the job for me, so it's a plus and $24.99 after mail-in rebate. That's such a great value. So lastly, gotta have a case. So for this uh, PC, we're going to be doing a Fractal Design Core 1-1000. Now, 1-1000, that was not right. A 
1,100, something like that. It's a it's a number, and it basically is going to do the job of this build. It's Micro ATX Mini Tower Case from Fractal Design. has a metal encasing around it, and it's basically the best little thing you can get for 40 bucks. Um, it's big. It's it's roomy. It will hold whatever you need, um, and it's a very affordable case for what 40 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong. So. Overall, this build is sub $400, guys. Keep that in mind. For sub $400, you can't get much better than this build. It's great. It's a great value. They'll be running games like crazy. Be sure to look up the A1070, A70K. It's a great performer. And also, I would recommend if you haven't um, really gone on the APU bandwagon, pick up an R7-260X. I'll just look that up for you real quick. The R7-260X is a very neat little graphics card. It's a graphics card that my brother's running in his system and he's running it with the 6300 and he's maxing out most games at 1080p. He's running them very well and it's it's a good graphics card for people who just want to play games, just basically play. So if you want to upgrade to a graphics card in the future, do this. If you want a graphics card alongside of this APU, which would be a great combo, you could do that as well. APUs have a crossfire functionality if you haven't heard. I'm not sure if this graphics card supports it or not, but that's something to look into. So. Thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment below. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and have a wonderful day.